Good evening friends, uh, it's me Chad and I'm here to uh, give you a video tutorial on how to use Laravel 5.2. I'm a developer from Philippines and I consider this as my uh, help for those aspiring uh, web developer. I hope these videos, these series of videos will be able to help you uh, to enhance yourself, your skills and be able to uh, make a living out of it. So basically, I will not uh, in uh, I mean I will not discuss more about what is Laravel or what is it all about because I believe that if you reach this video, uh, most probably you already understand that it's a PHP framework, uh, one of the uh, mostly used uh, framework now in the internet. So my video for today will uh, teach you how to install it and what are the requirements or necessary things that you need to do uh, in order for it to work for you basically what you will need is if you're going to install it locally you will need a local server so I would recommend if you're using Windows I would recommend that we use some this one basically you can download some in Google just search for it uh, it's a uh, it's a cool local web server. It got Apache and uh, MySQL and also FileZilla, but I'm just using the two, which is Apache and MySQL. So, since uh, Laravel is a PHP framework, it needs uh, an interpreter, and that is what we use Apache for because uh, PHP doesn't uh, work in normal browsers without uh, an interpreter. So we need SAMP and also to manage your database easily, I would recommend you to use uh, SQL Yog. SQL Yog is a, uh, actually it's na, uh, it got a community version and it also got a professional version. So just download the community. This is just what you need to learn uh, Laravel locally. So now let's start. Uh, also, before I forget, if uh, you must also uh, have already installed Composer. So Composer uh, is a requirement in installing Laravel. So what we do first is go to the directory of our uh, web server. So we are using SAMP. So when you install SAMP, the default location will be in your drive C. Uh, if you are going to be uh, check the directory, uh, SAMP is located somewhere here. So just type uh, cd as change directory and SAMP. That's the default directory of SAMP. And then to go to the uh, website folders, we go to htdocs and then var. So as you can see, you will see a list of folders here. Basically. These are the Laravel uh, or or any website installed I I put in my local computer. So first thing to do, as I've said, is install uh, Composer. Uh, it's very easy to install. Just go to Google and search for uh, Composer, and then you will see it right away. And the instruction is there. Uh, I will also make a video for it. So for now, let's assume that I have already installed the Composer and we are just going to install Laravel right away. So we are going to type this Composer Global Require Laravel oops, sorry, Laravel Installer and then enter. It will then uh, change the current directory to the Composer directory and will start downloading the latest Laravel installation files. This would uh, take uh, quite a while, so while waiting for this install to complete, let us make a sample database that we're going to use for our Laravel install. So, to do this, make sure that your MySQL is running and then go to your SQL yog here. Uh, basically, we're going to log in. I'm already logged in as you notice. 
and then you could see here I have already set up a lot of sample database uh, most of these are uh, most of these are sample database or real database I use for my work and for my development so let's create one so I, uh, just right click and then create database and then just put any name you like so let's say for example Laravel DB practice and then create yeah, as you can see you will write, uh, right away see here uh, the created database without the tables of course but don't worry as we go along in our tutorial we will be able to put uh, a few tables here that we're going to use in our application so I will have a uh, another video later on how to start uh, creating uh, a simple Laravel app with uh, registration and password retrieval so let's check okay so Laravel is now installed uh, if you notice uh, in my local it's faster because I have already uh, installed it before so it's just updating the cache uh, if there are latest updates and then there it is now so installation is different because when you say installation it is just downloading the necessary files for Laravel to work so to create or to start uh, building a website we're going to issue a command and that is Laravel new and the name of the application that you're going to make Take note that that name will be also the name of the folder that you will see here. Okay, so let's say I would create a Laravel new app, uh, practice Laravel. Okay, so this will be my new app. So when I enter, as you can see, it's already crafting application. Dun, 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 dun. So it's already installing the necessary files for your Laravel site to work. It's downloading the vendors and its uh, functionalities. This will also take uh, quite a while, especially if your internet is slow, but just be patient. It's almost done. Laravel is really easy. Uh, you'll find it al uh, along the way that uh, you'll find it uh, very easy and amazing, and it will really help you a lot. And it could really change your life. Especially right now, there are a lot of companies that are looking for Laravel uh, guys, and you could get paid uh, with a higher salary. So I really hope that these videos I am making will really help you and change your life. It's almost done. Uh, we can see that it's already generating the auto load files, <coughs> the classes, etc. It's doing it automatically. This is after you have installed the Laravel uh, core. And then this one now we are building already automatically an app that is powered by Laravel. Almost done. In order for the Laravel to work, uh, we need also to set up the HT access file because basically, uh, at first, when you load the Laravel site, it will load 
uh, a different look. Uh, you'll see later. I will, I will illustrate to you, but it's not going to be a problem. So while we're waiting, I will also uh, uh, tell you that. Uh, Okay, so it's complete now. So if you are going to check your directory, uh, you will see there that there is a directory created. Let's open and check. So let's check. Uh, we go to some folder, htdocs, and then you're going to see here the practice Laravel folder. So this is where we install the app. So as you can see, there are Laravel files here. So if you notice, we have this. That is the most important or one of the most important files that you need to remember to set up in Laravel. So as you can, uh, if, you, if you still remember, uh, a while ago we created a database. So we're going to set it up here. So we're going to open this. And then there so here we are going to put our database credential so DB host is local host and then database name uh, if you could still remember we created uh, Laravel DB practice that one so we are going to put it here Laravel DB practice username of course is root uh, this is just for local install but in live one uh, it's not advisable to use this username and then I don't have a password in my database locally so I will just leave it blank and then save after saving uh, we will also create uh, for us to have a better view of our website what I usually do is create a fake DNS uh, entry using the uh, by modifying the host file of Windows so what I usually do is go to local disk drive C here and then I go to Windows folder and then I go to uh, system 32 folder and then go to drivers folder and etc folder and then here i will see the host file this is what we're going to edit so we're going to open it with a notepad so make sure that your notepad is open as administrator so you can edit that file so notepad make sure that it is run as an administrator here then and you open it so here's the file so if you notice I have a lot of uh, fake domains here that is pointed to my local computer so this is very useful when you're developing uh, an app without a domain name yet so you're going to set up the domain name locally so here we're going to use this one as I'm not using this so we'll use practice laravel.com and then we are going to set up a virtual host in our SAMP. So we go here and then Apache and then uh, the configuration folder and then go to extra and then modify this file, the virtual host file. So here I have already added the practice Laravel. If you notice, okay, so this is setting up uh, virtual hosting in your local uh, computer. Uh, I will have a separate video of this so you will understand better but right now it's just for an overview 
if you notice uh, we put our Laravel install inside the practice Laravel folder so here we also created a virtual host that is pointing to the practice Laravel folder and then pointing to the practice laravel.com fake domain that we created and then we also create a separate lag for the purpose of recording errors okay so let us see if it's working or not so what we're going to do is open this domain name in our local computer so uh, what you can do is open it in your browser so like that Oops, I forgot to mention that we need also to... Oh, there, it's already showing. <laughs> okay, so if you notice, these are the files that appeared uh, when you installed uh, Laravel. So basically, when you point the domain, it showed all the files but not the application. But if you're going to go to the public folder here, uh, this is basically the only folder that is accessible to the web user. So basically, this is the front view of your app, Laravel 5. Okay, so if you notice, uh, it kind of look ugly because you have to put the domain name and then this public folder, which is uh, really a bit uh, annoying because what we usually want to see is just this, correct? So what we're going to do is we're going to set up uh, an HD access file to do to fix that problem. So what we're going to do is uh, modify or add uh, an HD access file. So we are going to go to the folder here, practice Laravel, and then. As you notice, we don't have that yet, but I have it prepared already, so I'll just paste it here, here, okay? So the content of this, for you to see, is this. So if you notice, uh, we, we added here a right condition that if the directory is public, it will be forwarded to the root directory. So basically, in a subdomain, when you open it, when you open it like this public we don't want this to happen right so basically uh, the rewrite condition says that if we, op uh, we type the root uh, domain which is pro practice laravel it will forward to the public I mean it will read the contents inside the public and show it uh, in the root directory like this see so we open practice Laravel and then we're seeing this app page so this is uh, how we set up Laravel locally using SAMP as a web server on our local computer and using Composer to install Laravel so I hope uh, I hope you understand uh, my video and the next video I will uh, the, the next video will be about how to start uh, building a Laravel app in, uh, because actually this is actually a Laravel app but a basic Laravel app only which only contains the welcome page so we're going to have an app later with registration and forget password feature Thank you.